Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Kirsty Lowe and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the best setting powders for oily skin. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have really oily skin. So I always have to use a setting powder to set my makeup into place so that my skin doesn't look like an oily mess by the end of the day. So if you wanna know what the best setting powders are, then make sure you keep watching. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. So without further ado, let's get started. And the first setting powder I'm gonna be showing you is this Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. And it retails for 24 pounds. Absolutely love this one. Hence the name Peach Perfect. It smells really, really nice, as if it's like good enough to eat. Just imagine sweet peaches with sweet fig milk infused together into this pot of deliciousness. Is that even a word, deliciousness? <laughs> It just blends so beautifully onto the skin. It's really comfortable on the skin and it leaves my skin with a nice matte finish and it's oil and shine free, which is great for oily skin. I love wearing this when I'm going on holiday where it's somewhere really hot and humid. This controls my oils so well. And because I bought caramelized peach, it gives me a really nice natural tint to my skin as well. So I could get away with not wearing foundation. I'll just use this powder and my skin is flawless. It's matte, it's shine free for the whole day and this is transfer resistant so it's not going to go onto your mask and your clothing is not going to transfer so this is so good i cannot recommend this product enough then so the next setting powder i'm going to be showing you is this fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting powder and it retails for 24 pounds and the shade that i've got is banana which is for light to tan skin tones and it's great for brightening so the powder is really finely milled and it's silky loose powder this one sets your foundation really nicely. It blurs out any pores, fine lines, wrinkles, imperfections, just everything on your skin. It blurs it all out and it gives your skin a really nice super filtered effect. Hence the name of this pro filter. That's what it does filtered skin and this is great for brightening or if you're going to do baking it's so beautiful on the skin so lightweight and also this doesn't give you flashback in pictures oh which is perfect because that's the last thing that you want when you're on a night out or if you're out during the day with your friends or family and you look back at the pictures bam you got the white block on your face so no flashback Plus point for this. And the next one I've got here is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder. And it retails for £6.99. It's matte and it's poreless. It's what I love for my oily skin. So I've got it in the shade Translucent and it opens up here and it's got a sponge with a mirror inside as well. So it's so handy blends smoothly and easily on my skin. So good for oily skin, absorbs all the oil, mattifies my skin, and it's really lightweight powder, so it doesn't feel too heavy. And with this, my pores just disappear just like that, especially on my nose and on my cheek area. My pores are really big, so I love using this because it gives me a really nice poreless looking finish and it's non-comedogenic so it's not going to clog your pores so it's perfect for oily skin it's really long lasting and it controls my oils all day and night i really love this powder and it's so compact i could just pop it in my handbag and i'm good to go and the next one i've got here is so affordable and it's the rimmel stay matte pressed powder and it retails for four pounds 49 £4.49. This is an oldie but a goodie. I've used it for so long. It's one of my favourite drugstore setting powders and it just opens up like that. And this has a blend of skin loving minerals in here which helps to smooth and blur out any imperfections on your skin. And with this, when I first apply it, it looks beautiful on my skin. But then after about two or three hours, a bit of cakiness does happen around the corners of my nose. But you know what? That's fine. For this price, just touch it up a little bit and then you are good to go again. So I've got it in the shade Transparent, so it's not going to add or take away any colour. It's like an instant quick fix. Just pop it in your bag. It's a makeup must-have and it's perfect for touch-ups on the go. Oh, and what's your favourite powder? And what's your skin type? Let me know down in the comments below 
below and we'll get a conversation going. The next one that I've got here is the MAC Blot Pressed Powder and it retails for £24. So I've got it in the shade medium and it only adds a little bit of colour and texture to your skin. It comes with a puff applicator, sets my foundation beautifully, it doesn't cake and it doesn't settle into my fine lines and it's non-comedogenic so it's not going to clog my pores so it's perfect for oily skin. It's one of my holy grail powders, it never lets me down, I can always rely on it to absorb my oils, to mattify my skin, blur away any imperfections, it just does everything that I want it to do to set my makeup. I must have got through probably about 20 of these easily, I've used that many of these, I love this powder. Right, so last but not least, I've got the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and it retails for £32. I love this one. If you've been following my channel, I feature this in literally probably all my videos. I've been talking about it. It's the one that I've got on right now. It's long lasting, absorbs all the oils. It controls the shine on my skin. It gives my skin a really nice sheer finish so it's not too heavy. It's weightless. It sets my makeup for up to 12 hours. It doesn't add on any weight any texture it's a really lightweight powder it's finely milled it gives me a 12 hour matte finish and it really controls my oils so well when I apply it my skin just looks flawless it smooths and blurs out all my imperfections it doesn't settle into fine lines and there's no caking going on here with this powder there's no flashback so you are good to go when you know you've got photos to be taken and you know you're going to be insta ready or free and it's non comedogenic so it's not going to clog your pores. This has got everything that I want in the setting powder. That's why I've left the best till last. This is my favourite setting powder. It is slightly a bit more expensive. It's £32 but you know what? It's worth it. If I was to describe what my perfect setting powder would be, here. This is it. The Laurier Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is the perfect powder for oily skin. So what's the difference between a pressed powder and the loose powder? It's just preference really. With the loose powder, I use this one from Too Faced, it's a lot more messier, so I like to use loose powders when I'm doing my makeup at home. And then with the pressed powders, it's more something that I'd pop in my handbag, it's a lot more compact and it's just ready to go. So yeah, it's just preference with the pressed powders and the loose powders, they're both really good for oily skin. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. My next video, I'm going to be talking about the best primers for oily skin. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Got some food in my teeth. Alrighty then. And the next, and the next set, and the next one is, mate. And the next, that's good. Peachy.